Hi, as the title implies, I pretty much failed selective entrance into the selective schools of Victoria. Today, I'm going to touch on a topic that has affected my high school life and thousands of others to my brother and the other students who have received a rejection email. I, like many others, have sat the selective exams. At the time, I attended an all-boys school known as Mazenod College and did decently well at school, averaging 80s or higher in majority of my subjects, except for English. I did enjoy school, but I wanted more. Then one day, my parents suggested that I should try out for the selective schools in Victoria. I did a bit of research and heard that my other friends were applying. I felt like this was an opportunity for more. I didn't want to apply for MHS since I wasn't that interested in getting into another old boys school. I also did not sit the big year 8 to 9 entrance exam. I forgot to submit my application form before the due date, even though I had attended Jack tutoring and had been reminded almost every week. My childish self chose to neglect it and make up for it by setting up for my school scholarship test. I did not get it, nor did I study for it. I only did it to make myself feel better for all the money that my parents had spent on tutoring. Later that year, one of my friends had gotten into Nossel. I said to myself that I would apply for the selective schools again next year and get in. That didn't happen. I applied for year 9 to 10 entrance, I got tutored, and I studied but I still preferred to play league. I sat the NHS and JMSS exams and got two superiors on the subjects which I didn't study for, verbal reasoning and reading comprehension. Although I got superiors, it wasn't enough. For Nossel, I had to be top 10, which required at least three superiors. As for JMSS, I got an interview, but I said that I could just rock up to the interview and destroy it. That didn't happen. I stumbled, stuttered, and felt anxious when questioned. I didn't really prepare. I felt a bit annoyed at myself that I didn't get in, but I was glad to find out that I can get two superiors because I just need to focus on improving my weaknesses. So once again, I said I could try one more time and get in. Now it was for year 10 to 11 entrance. I played once again for Nossel and John Monash, but this time I failed both. I had studied for both until the last week before the John Monash exam, but my girlfriend at the time broke up with me a week before the entrance exam and I kind of entered a state of depression. The first relationship video will come out eventually but for now, this is all about the entrance exams. She attended Nossel, so I gave up on that exam. As for John Monash, I said that I would destroy it and get in so that I can prove to everyone that I can overcome my feelings. Instead, that didn't happen. I gave in and chose the easier way out, failing. Since it was my first heartbreak, I didn't know what to do, and I made a lot of mistakes. After those three years of trying, I failed each and every time in a different manner. I got kind of annoyed at myself because I had tried, kinda, and spent a decent amount of money. However, I didn't beat myself up over it for more than a week because I knew that it was the result of not wanting it as badly. Yes, my friends did bring it up every now and then and shoved my failures in my face, but I learned to just ignore it. My entrance exams didn't end with John Monash and Nossel. There was one school slash program, which I hadn't heard of before, which focused heavily on STEM. That was Elizabeth Blackburn School of Sciences. This exam was two months after the first two and gave me enough time to put my feelings aside and focus on this exam. I really wanted to leave my current school. At this point, no one believed in me but myself. My social environment soured because of my social mistakes and schooling at my old school no longer was enjoyable. I sat the EBIS exam, studied mathematics almost every day, ensuring that my basic skills were good. I didn't work on verbal reasoning and reading comprehension since I was decent at them. It finally worked. All my hard work and effort paid off when I received my interview notice. I got one superior and the rest were high averages and an above average. I prepared for the interview and used ATAR notes to gain information about the entrance process. I went into the interview prepared, answered every question with my prepared statements, but the two week wait after that interview was long. So I played games and did other things to get over it. But the amount of pressure I felt was enormous since it was officially my last chance. School continued and then that day finally came. During commerce class, I had received a text slash email from my father saying that I had gotten in. I told my friend who sat next to me. Since we made a bet that I wouldn't get into Evis, I was so happy with myself that I had finally done it. All the amount of failures led up to this one moment and I had learned one important lesson. Whenever I have a strong desire for something, I will do as much as I possibly can to get it. From this, I learned that I really didn't want to go to Nossel or John Monash back then. Yes, I wanted it, but I did not do everything within my control to get it. So for all of you who have just failed, it is not the end of the world. There is always a way, and even if you don't get in the first time, there is always an alternative. It might be a matter of looking at the process that led up to that result. You have the power to change your circumstances, you can change your perception of yourself, and you can choose how you want to live. 
Even if you fail, you can always use it to do better the next time. Because each of your failures leads to success in the end. The only thing that you need to do is keep at it. Ignore the judgments of others and do your very best. I hope that my experience is able to provide some insights and some lessons. Thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed, please remember to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Okay, I really do. There is always a way. There is always a way. Way, 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 way. Now it was time. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, PG rated channel.